Welcome to Unforgiven Fishing. I'm Dr. Jekyll. In this episode of Snap Pursuit, Marshall Victorian Waters, we're diving into early season snapper fishing. The season is just about to start and there's a lot to look forward to. Spring is the perfect time to start targeting snapper. We will show you the gear, the rigs, the techniques to kick the season off right. Right, for snapper fishing, having the right gear is essential. You'll need a sturdy rod with a sensitive tip to detect the bites, and a high capacity reel, and a mix of fresh caught and frozen baits. Alright, now we'll cover rods and reels. So rods, medium to heavy, or heavy rod, around 6 to 7 foot, anything ranging from 8 to 12 kilos and 10 to 15 kilo, will handle everything in our bays you'll encounter fishing for snapper. As you can see here, I run a Shimano crowbar, Pretty versatile, you can't break it. It's gonna cover everything that you're gonna catch from snapper or any bycatch you're gonna get. Um, you know, a good sensitive tip on there. Um, you know, you, you, won't miss a, you won't miss a bite or a nibble. And then onto reels, uh, you have a strong reliable spinning reel with a good drag system. And you see here, I run a Saragossa 14,000. Uh, very good strong reel, big line capacity. I think there's about 500 meters of line on there. Um, it's plenty for what you're going to what you're going to need for in the bay, and with a good drag system, you're never going to go wrong. All right, now we're going to cover some line. Uh, we're on braided line on on our reels. All right, uh, braided line anywhere from 30 to 50 pound. This is 50 pound test, and I run a 50 pound shock leader. I've got three meters of shock leader, and then we go 40 to 80 pound uh, mono leader. And you can see here, I've got quite a short leader. I've been fishing shallow water. Um, and you can see I've got a snell set up on the end of that with twin 4-0 hooks. Did you know that the Australian snapper is also known as Pagris aratus? It's one of the most popular fish among the anglers of Victoria. They're most commonly known for their fight and their flavour. In early spring, they start moving into the bays to feed and spawn. Appearance. Pink snapper have a distinctive pink colour with a silvery sheen a rounded head and a predominant bump on the male's noses and heads. Sizes. Commonly caught snapper range from 10 centimetres to 70 centimetres in length. The largest specimen of 70 centimetres and over and can reach up to 1 metre and exceed 10 kilos in weight. The lifespan of a snapper, they can live up to 40 years or more, though most caught are younger than 20 to 30 years old. Alright, we'll cover migration patterns. Seasonal migration. Snapper move into shallow bays and estuaries for spawning in the warmer months and return to deeper offshore waters during the cooler months. Local movements <coughs> influenced by water temperature and when the bay waters match the ocean waters, this is their sign to move in for feeding and breeding, laying the next batch of snapper for the following years. Legal size and bag limits. The legal length for a snapper has to be a minimum 28 centimetres with a bag limit of 10 fish in which three of those fish can exceed 40 centimetres. So for example, if you have three fish at 60 centimetres and seven at 30 centimetres, that's your bag limit for the day. Most people in Victoria consider a bag out to be three fish over 40 centimetres, leaving the pinkies to grow for f future years. We'll cover some rigs, some basic rigs we use in Western Port. Um, and you know you can use these same in Port Phillip as well. The only difference with Port Phillip is we use a, a bean sinker or a ball sinker on top of our hooks on our main on the leader instead of our main line. Right, one of my uh, ones I like to use. I've only just recently started it um, and had some success last season with it. Uh, is a single hook pattern oster. I run a 80 circle on that, and then drop down and my. Um, Sinker, generally I'm you know, fish fairly shallow, so I'm using a six or an eight ounce sinker at most. Goes and loop down the bottom, and that'll sit on the bottom with the with the hook sitting up like that, and the bait sitting nicely in the water column. It's all, this is also a great way if you're fishing deep water and fast currents as well. This will keep it away from the stingrays and the banjos, and keep it in line with all the snappers views and even your gummies. Another way to do it with a circle hook, just while Mark's showing that, he's also got one here with a single Circle hook right here, running to a leader, again, short leader, he must have been fishing shallow. 
with a single circle hook, run your hang baits, chunk baits, with a running sinker rig at the top there with an easy rig, with a dropper, how big's your dropper there Mark? Uh, my dropper, this is only quite a short dropper, <coughs> once again I was fishing shallow just last night actually, um, so you'll see my dropper there, it's only quite a short dropper, so it's, and it's the same on this one as well, sinker there, that'll there, and that'll just kick back in the current and hopefully look good for a fish. Flutter in the current, that's alright. Give you that one. Then we've got the traditional snelled twin hook rig that we all like to use in the early season. Having a fixed top hook and a fixed bottom hook gives you maximum chances of hooking and landing that early season snapper. They are going to bite and they're going to be very finicky and they're going to look like a flathead bite just sitting on the rod tip going nibble, nibble. You want to actually pull on that and show yeah. exactly what it means. So that's all you're going to see. That's all you'll see is that. And that's where you pick it the rod up, feel it in your hands to feel that little bit of a nudge. And when you start to feel it load up, you strike back. These hooks will drive into the fish, whether it be in the face plate, in the mouth, giving you every chance of landing that first fish of the season. This is my most favourite rig for early season. What rig would be your favourite, Mark? Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I'll probably go with Snell. I definitely, I think, early season, the Snell would be my pick. Um, <clears throat> but I don't know. I can't go past a, a, a single circle pin, though. No. Single circle is definitely a good one. It's like a set and forget, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. But in the early season, it's a bit hard because, like, like we said, the fish are very finicky and they just nibble on baits. Circle hooks are great when the fish are on and is grabbing and running with baits. Pins them straight in the corner of the jaw. You're something I need to erase. This your guilt that I know I must face. When I picture your voice, I can hear from the side. You lost it? Yeah. It bit me off. Oh, man. That's a ray, my, uh, shark, my friend. Where's your hook? In its mouth. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> where's your hook? <laughs> well, oh yeah, feel your leader. How's the shark? <laughs> because it's early season, we're running yeah. Twin suicides. I've got that all set up on one of mine. Jamie's a little bit behind in that sense. <laughs> but we've got twin 4 0 Master Pro hooks. We've got selections of baits at the moment it's Trevally and Squid. We've got Yakka and more Squid. Hopefully, we can get a very early season snapper. Still considered a winter snapper. Mark said catch him a fish. I shall catch a snapper. Now, I'm pretty sure this little bugger, this little bugger right here is a luminous squid. And it bit Mark on the finger, Deke Shang, yeah. and sent him numb. So what I'm gonna do, in honor of our beloved Dr. Jekyll, is send it out. 
Oh, I'm gonna send it. Dr. Jekyll, this bait is in honor of you, my friend. What? You got a nibble, did you? Sure it wasn't the wave crashing over the top? Oh, it's gone over the hole. No, 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 definitely the flatty bite that they were talking about. That, that little... That one? <laughs> Excuse me. That's why we get pushed around with the wind at the minute. Two baits are in the water now. Shane's about to put his second bait in. Oh, by the way, welcome back to the uh, show, Shane. Oh, well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and welcome to the Pursuit of Snapper. We're mastering Victorian waters. Oh, mate, look, this poor bugger's broken down. We chased the rescue boat out of uh, the berthing today. We're actually fishing somewhere different. We're not up in the mud. We're doing it tough. I used the sounder. I found marks of bait and fish and some feeding fish on the bottom. So pull out all the rest because I think there's one in there that's got your name on it, mate. So I've got the biggest and I've got the smallest. And the one in the middle, oh, that, that one's got your name on it. But you can use my small one in honour of Captain Dr. Jekyll, the co-captain. The captain of the freedom. Shane getting the boat yet again, folks. No, look. Um, put the rag. Or pies or something getting his mouth. You hook him in the mouth, this is that. He's taking your bait right down. What was it? That was a picket. On that single hook. It's right there. There you go. There's your back. And there's our bait, folks. <laughs> oh, so you said I'm using this whole thing here. We just cut the cut the end of it off. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, would you like me to show you how we rig them up? So what we do with these? Is that little bit at the end. Chop that off. Chop that little bit off with a bit of bit of flatty scent. And we. And take, take that off and that allows the water to flow through and to hook these are a little bit different yes you've never shown me how to do one of these ones so you get the hook that in try to keep it dead center that won't spin in the tide like so and this one just as normal pin through yeah. and that should be good yeah what I've done is, is that flathead as soon as it's come up, I've taken the fillets off, cut it into bite-sized pieces, and believe it or not, this bait has accounted for some monstrous snapper in my fishing time. Oh, it's a swell shark. I've never caught one down this far before. The Staffy the dog. A big Staffy. No, don't get him in the net, mate. Just lift him in. If he bites off, he bites off. I'll swap you if you like. You take Staffy. Hold that. He's stuck on my leg. Ah. Right. Give me that. Get Staffy up the side and I'll try and pop him off. So that 
is, oh God. A swell shark, folks. Shane's gonna have fun getting him out. Oh look, he's even got some reading hooks on him. Look at that, he's got reading hooks inside of him. Don't let him bite me, yeah? He's got teeth, yeah? Yeah. Giving us a good thump. Could be a nice gummy. Yeah. Thank God he missed the wadding rod. Please. Banjo. No, Porty. It's a Porty. It's a start. Look at the size of this Porty chain. Yeah, he's full of life. Can't land him by myself. He's giving me a run around the, the boat. Yeah. Big girl, she's pregnant, she looks like she's about to drop some cuts. Alright, let's release her, eh? Oh, she's heavy, girl. There you go, darling. You good? Alright, see you, sweetheart. Alright, put your head down. See you later, darling. Gone. Not alive. Lick your eyes, but now I can sleep. This year, guilt, I know I'm a space. When I touch your skin, I can feel. I'm dead inside. I'm alive. Squid ring. That's on. Uh, oh, it's coming up. Get up, get your head up. Nice. Oh, yeah, look at that big bastard. Yeah. Head back there. Oh. Oh. I think he's, I think I've got you. Yeah, I think he's, he's got everything back there. Yeah. Bring down. Yeah. <laughs> Just get the leader. Oh. 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 What a workout. Oh. That's not the fish I wanted. Your rod, though. I did Chris in my rod. Now I got mega arm pump. 
apparently. That's definitely bites here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it is. Yep. I felt it and I just pulled straight into it and it and it was there. Head shakes. I'm calling gummy. Yeah, I'm calling gummy. Yeah, I'm calling gummy. I'm calling gummy. Oh, porty. Are you on my line? Oh, I don't think so. You might be. If you weren't on my line, I was just getting hit then. Banjo. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh my shoulder <laughs> it hurts <laughs> hey all starts with the floody oh, oh, come on Austin's on look at this yeah team of hooks Oh, you've got a little line there. Yeah, mine. It's got a bit of weight to it, Ozzy. I reckon oh. it's flat, bro. That looks a rain. That was the hooks. He spat them. <laughs> Not me. Alright, I'm through here. Yeah. Can you turn the one on behind me? Whatever it is, it's not fighting. fighting it's just sort of coming up yeah I think you're gonna take it oh, since rods here is that a banjo out there yep no yes He's hooked in the in the mouth, in the nose. Oh, quick release and gone. Are oh, you gonna go camera shy? Really? There it is. There it is. Yeah. Gumbo. Yeah. Gumbo or? Um, thinking maybe banjo, but I don't know. It was swimming up straight up, so it's not doing much now besides swimming at me. Coming up. Yeah, that's it. It's baby banjo. That's why. I don't even know why I picked up the rod.
This one's actually hooked properly. Timu hook. Right in the corner of the jaw. I'm sure Mark's got some pliers in here somewhere. Oh, I see you uh, WD-40 them. Here's a strength test. That's anyone play game. Oh. Oh, no, I can't see. Yeah, what the fuck was it? What the fuck was it? Gone. Hey, not bad. Those two move hooks are taking a fair beating. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Yeah. Yeah, I'm into it. Can you hit that record? I don't know what it is, but it's heavy. Oh, I think it's flat. It's flanking me in the tide. Oh, no, maybe not. Nah, sort of swimming up. It's a bit too heavy for a banjo, I think. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's got no fight though, Yeah. It's going under the boat. I'm tipping banjo or something though. So I can feel it rolling up and coming out. Maybe not. My bicep burning. I need an ice up before. Yep. I think, oh. I think it was the same. It definitely wasn't a snap or anything. What popped the whole, oh. Shark. Is that not, or? No. That's above the swivel. Oh, get in my fucking pocket. Can you put that somewhere so it's safe? Thanks, bro. On sunrise. I still got the gloves on. Yeah, so I put the gloves on. And that's what's made me get asleep. Oh, shake, shake, shake. Shake that head. <laughs> if it is one, it's not big.
Show me pink. Pink? Good. In the right spot though. Fucking hell. Yeah. Thanks for that, bro. This is how people learn what, what, what a rod looks like. <laughs> so they know what to buy you for free. It's, it's nothing serious, That's, it's only little whatever it is. Whatever it is, it's not big, it's not fighting. <clears throat> Settle down. Yeah. Oh, I'll just get this hook out of him. Don't know. Nah. <laughs> yeah, nice. We've got a uh, legal size flathead here. It's a good one. But, uh, we'll take some fillets off and see if we can't turn him into a snapper. I know some people at home are probably going to want to eat that fish, but um, we're going to fillet it and use a fresh bait. All right, so we've just chucked that fresh flathead out and not even a minute in the water, just move spots and we got one. Fresh flathead, four o snails, double, got the job done. All right, so as you can see here, we've got a flathead. We're just cleaning up one of the gummy sharks we caught earlier on tonight, and that was inside its gut. Whole flathead. That flathead's undersized. Someone should tell that gummy shark, you can't eat it. All right, so it's about probably half an hour maybe later, maybe a bit longer, 40, and we've just got another one. 
about the same size, maybe a little bit bigger. What but what fre but fresh trevally, double snail again. From the corner of my eyes, I can see it's a game. Like a knife, and I know that I can hurt you. Like a dream, you just keep me away. In this world, in this blood, I know I have you. It's no use, run away. How you going folks? Welcome back to Unforgiven Fishing. You got Jamie and going, the skipper. Bro? We're heading out for trip number four for me. Five for you. Five for me as well. Five for you. He's already one up. I'm still zero. Hopefully that changes today. Five days left in September, I think. No, four days left in September. I've got four days to make this happen and get a pink one on the boat on camera for you guys. We'll see you soon. Oh yeah baby, yeah baby, yeah baby, hooked up. And it feels like a red. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, thank God. God, it's erratic. Maybe it's a gummy. I don't tell me I dropped it. No, there it is. Oh, look at those head shakes. Oh, sends you weak at the knees. What is it? Oh, it's a decent gummy. Oh, oh, that's, that's all right. That's a start. Very nice gummy. Oh, very, very nice gummy. Woohoo! We got a fish on board. Sorry guys. Oh, she's trying to fill me up. That was on. 
Oh, that was on Jarvis Walker hooks. There we are. I heard the camera without me falling over. Let me bring this down here. There we go. Decent gummy. Sure enough, a few people would love to eat that. Give her a smack on the head, put her to sleep, give her a bleed, put her on ice. That's a start. If they're here, hopefully their cousins with red suits are here too. Now I'm going to do a Dr. J call. Once I find the uh, go to sleep stick. <clears throat> A go to sleep stick will do. And I said, good night, good night. Good night. Whew. Well. I feel better now. <laughs> Caught a fish. Whew. Let's put a squid ring on and get a squid ring back out. Oh, tell a lie, these are the um, Gamagetsus, 4-0 Gamagetsu hooks. Well done, Gamagetsu. It's one point for... Sharpness. I'm pinning that gummy very nicely in the corner of the jaw. Head shakes. Oh, I think it's another gummy. Let me get some bigger lights on. So guys, I'll give you a better look. There you go. Am I even recording? What a run! I'm starting to wonder what this is now. I'm 
hasn't done a lot. Another gummy. All wrapped up. That explains a lot. another gummy this one's uh, trying to choke himself <clears throat> stop pal I'm trying to help you here oh, that was on master pro master pro is not supposed to be in the game today I kind of didn't have a choice I didn't have time to rig up a fourth rod with a challenge fish uh, challenge hooks tonight I only brought the fourth rod just in case Jamie didn't come you have to forgive me on that one guys we're getting there pal We are getting there. Okay, let's have a look now. What have you done? What have I done to make it easier? That'll be Austin. Can't answer, I'm busy! Another nice gummy to go in the box. This one's a male. So now we've got the pigeon pair, male and a female. Give him a good night. This guy's been on the rod the whole time. I flapped him. Now if I can get that without getting hurt, I'll be good. Oh. That tail is dangerous. Oh, he gave us a show. Hook's still good, bait's still good. I thought that looked funny. <laughs> hey Shane, been like that for a, uh, been like that for a while. <laughs> I did a you, bro. I was looking at it out of the corner of my eye thinking it looked funny. But it wasn't pulling drag. It wasn't doing anything like that. It just sat there. We 
which is weird for an eagle ray. What the hell's he done to the hook? Oh, I see. Yeah, that was funny. Okay, so that was on Jarvis Walker. Well done, Jarvis Walker. Still bait check now that I'm up, especially on this one. This one's been bouncing for a little while. So I don't know. Oh, what's going on here? Another one. It's a fish. Big banjo. Big, big banjo. Big, big banjo. <clears throat> hey, Jamie, I got your buddy. Got your buddy and Bob's pet. Oh. Come here. Oh, what? Oh, he's straight in the hook. Oh, that's a gamma. Straighten both the gammas. Wow. That's um, not good for strength. Have a look at this, shall we? Wow, poor form, Gemma Gets to. No, wait, no, they poor foot. I apologize. Poor form, Jarvis Walker. Seven dollar hooks, guys. <laughs> Not very strong. I don't believe you can get this big box anymore. The hundred hundred hook pack. This is just one I had sitting around. But this pack at a hundred hooks cost me back in the day. I think four ninety nine from Kmart. So the point for price goes to. Jarvis Walker. Now, strength. Gamagatsu. Gamagatsu handled that eagle ray quite quite well. Jarvis Walker straightened out on a ban on banjo. I guess the banjo is quite large, and yes, these are quite small. Only a three-o hook, just so I can tell them both apart because they're both red hooks. But point for strength will go to Gamagatsu. Well done Gamagatsu. Sharpness. They're both very sharp hooks so I'm going to give them both half a point. Quality. Definitely Gamagatsu. They're going to last longer than a Jarvis Walker but Jarvis Walker will still last a fairly good time too even in the smaller packets of 20 or 25 now. So we'll tally this up later and 
the winner will be announced at the end of this part of the video. season begins in Western Port, anticipation builds for the first snapper of the year, but the reality has proven far from straightforward. Over the past few weeks, we've faced relentless windy days, making it difficult to find ideal fishing conditions. The water temperatures are still cold, too cold it seems for the snapper to fully commit to a bite. Despite knowing the fish are present, particularly on the eastern side of the bay, the early season snapper have been elusive. Timid bites tease our lines. Even when we strike, it's been frustratingly common to miss the fish. It's clear that the snapper are here, but they are not yet fully active. Early season fishing always has its challenges, and right now patience is key. As the water slowly warms up and the conditions stabilise, we can only hope that shy feeders turn into hard-hitting snapper we're waiting for. Early spring is a fantastic time to start your snapper season. With the right gear and techniques, you'll be off to a great start. If you remember to look for the shallow, warmer waters and the right tide, you'll be in with a good chance of a big early season red. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for more tips and adventures. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram for the latest updates and tips. Thanks for watching, we'll see you out there on the water.